Welcome to Sunday School. You'll need a few things to be ready today. Your normal wondering supplies like colored pencils, paper, watercolors, whatever feels right to you. Your advent wreath and your story box. Let's listen to Miss Lori tell us what we need from our story box now. This is the season of Advent when we all are on our way to Bethlehem to celebrate the mystery of God becoming a person. You're gonna need a lot of things for this, um, these stories. You will need your Bethlehem and you will need your Advent wreath. And to go with the Advent wreath, you'll need matches or a lighter and from your box, your snuffer, and your votive candle. From your In the Beginning bag, take out your blue cloth, and you need people of God, and you need For the second Sunday, you need to add Joseph and Mary. Now, if you have a nativity set, the out for Christmas by then, you can add a donkey. But I didn't make the donkey for this. Get ready a little bit more. Let's sing. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. 
Our story today is Mary and Joseph show the way to Bethlehem. We found this story in Young Children in Worship on page 133. You can read it in your Bible on, in Matthew chapters 1 through 2 and in Luke chapters 1 through 2. You can also find it in your Spark Story Bible on page 212 that tells the whole story. So maybe don't skip quite so far ahead. Our storyteller today is Miss Lori Goss. Good morning. This is the season of Advent, the time that we are all getting ready to go to Bethlehem, the time that we get ready for the mystery that is Christmas. But who will show us the way? Well, the prophets can show us the way, for they listen to God. They can show us the way. Isaiah was a prophet who listened and spoke the word of God. He said, one day a Messiah will be born. The Messiah would be like a light shining in the darkness. This is what Isaiah said. The people who walked in the darkness will have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. Let us enjoy the light of the prophets. Now, Mary and Joseph are on their way to Bethlehem as well. They can help show us the way to Bethlehem. But they have a very, very special secret. An angel came to them and said, Do not be afraid, be joyful, because you will have God's special son, and you will name him Jesus. <laughs> Here is Mary and the donkey and Joseph, who are all on the way to Bethlehem where Jesus will be born. Let us enjoy the light of the Holy Family. Now I am going to change the light, but friends, if you remember way back in the beginning, uh, my first story, I talked about the light and how even though we change it, it is still everywhere. That even though we share it, it's still the same. And even when we change it, it is still everywhere. So I'm going to change the light of the Holy Family. the light of the prophets so that it can be with us always in many ways and in many places throughout the years and help show us the way. Amen. All right, let's learn a Christmas song. Let's learn. Thank you. Let's learn an Advent song, actually. Do you know Joy to the World? It's one of my favorites. 
Ready? The words are, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let everyone prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Yeah. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Did you hear how it was about preparing? Yeah, just like Advent is about preparing, about getting ready. Well, this one's ready to go do something else. So we'll sing more next week. Bye. Let us pray the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you everyone for being on this journey to Bethlehem. It is so good to go together, even when we are far apart. I wonder what you will do for your own work time today. Hmm. Maybe you will make your own set of Advent cards, one for the prophets, one for the Holy Family. Maybe you'll retell the story. Maybe you'll look it up in your Spark Bible on page 212. Whatever you do, may it be a blessing to you.